There are some 250 million cars in America, 250 million cars in the country with just over 300 million people. And most of those vehicles, of course, are gas-powered. This poses a huge challenge given the limited supplies of oil and the growing urgency of the global warming crisis. But there is good news, according to our guests today. And that is we have the know-how and the technology to build sleek, fast automobiles that don't use gasoline. These vehicles of tomorrow are powered by hydrogen, electricity, biofuels, and digital technology. And they already exist. So what's stopping us from putting them on the roads? Our guests today will help answer that. Correct answer. These two paintings, both called sunflowers, are generally accepted as the finest of several depictions of the thick stemmed, nodding blooms that Van Gogh made in 1888 and 1889 during his time in Arles. The first is now in the collection of the National Gallery in London, and the second is in the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. Van Gogh referred to this work as a repetition of the London painting. But art historians and curators have long been curious to know how different this repetition is from the first. Should it be considered a copy, an independent artwork or something in between? An extensive research project conducted over the past three years by conservation experts at both the National Gallery and the Van Gogh Museum has concluded that the second painting was not intended as an exact copy of the original example, said Ella Hendricks a professor of conservation and restoration at the University of Amsterdam, who was the lead researcher on the project. Correct answer Rebuilding carbon-rich agriculture soils is the only real productive, permanent solution to taking excess carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. She's frustrated that scientists and politicians don't see the same opportunities she sees. This year Australia will emit just over 600 million tons of carbon. We can sequester 685 million tons of carbon by increasing soil carbon by half a percent on only 2% of the farms. If we increased it on all of the farms, we could sequester the whole world's emissions of carbon. Correct answer. What is nanotechnology? Well, a report that was put together by a combination of the Royal Society and the Royal Academy of Engineering that came out last summer, identifies two topics. Nanoscience is the study of phenomena and the manipulation of materials at atomic, molecular and macromolecular scales, where properties differ significantly from those as a larger scale. Nanotechnologies are the design characterization, production and application of structures, devices and systems by controlling shape and size at the nanometer scale. So I'll talk a little bit more in a moment about what a nanometer is, but loosely speaking people think of nanotechnologies as being a sort of a hundred nanometers or less. Correct answer.
Financial markets swung wildly yesterday in frenzied trading market by further selling of equities and fears about an unraveling of the global carry trade. At the same time trading in the European credit markets in London was exceptionally heavy as traders frantically reassessed their appetite for risk prompting wild swings in the prices of the key derivatives. It was the third day of frenetic activity in the European credit markets, suggesting that equity market swings were prompting a wider repositioning of investors in a host of asset classes. Correct answer For many years the favorite horror story about abrupt climate change was that a shift in ocean currents could radically cool Europe's climate. These currents, called the overturning circulation bring warm water and warm temperatures north from the equator to Europe. Susan Lugier, an oceanographer at Duke University, says scientists have long worried that this ocean circulation could be disrupted. Correct answer Along the way, we have built unashamedly beautiful buildings, two of which have won and been runner-up in the prestigious United Nations World Habitat Award the first time an Australian building has received that international honour. We rely on older concepts of Australian architecture that are heavily influenced by the bush. All residents have private verandas which allow them to socialise outdoors and also create some defensible space between their bedrooms and public areas. We use a lot of natural or soft materials and build beautiful landscaped gardens. Correct answer In animals, a movement is coordinated by a cluster of neurons in the spinal cord called the Central Contract Pattern Generator CPG. This produces signals that drive muscles to contract rhythmically in a way that produces running or walking, depending on the pattern of pulses. A simple signal from the brain instructs the CPG to switch between modes such as going from a standstill to walking. Correct answer Lawrence Stephen Lowry R.B.S. Ra was an English artist. Many of his drawings and paintings depict Bendlebury, Lancashire, where he lived and worked for more than 40 years, and also Salford and its surrounding areas. Lowry is famous for painting scenes of life in the industrial districts of North West England in the mid-20th century. He developed a distinctive style of painting and is best known. For his city landscapes peopled with human figures often referred to as matchstick man. He painted mysterious unpopulated landscapes, brooding portraits and the unpublished Narionette works, which were only found after his death. Correct answer Now that story's been scotched, as only part of contingency planning. But it was a symptom of the dramatic turn of events in South Australia, and it flushed out other remarks from water academics and people like Tim Flannery, indicating that things were really much worse than had been foreshadowed, even earlier this year. So is Adelaide, 
let alone some whole regions of South Australia, in serious bother? Considering that the vast amount of its drinking water comes from the beleaguered Murray, something many of us outside the state may not have quite realised. Is their predicament something we have to face up to as a nation? Correct answer. For all his fame and celebration, William Shakespeare remains a mysterious figure with regards to personal history. There are just two primary sources for information on the Bard, his works, and various legal and church documents that have survived from Elizabethan times. Naturally, there are many gaps in this body of information, which tells us little about Shakespeare the man. Correct answer. Brutch and her colleague Mark Newman studied who swapped messages with whom on a popular online dating platform in the month of January 2014. They categorized users by desirability using PageRank, one of the algorithms behind search technology. Essentially if you receive a dozen messages from desirable users, you must be more desirable than someone who receives the same number of messages from average users. Then they asked, how far out of their league do online daters tend to go when pursuing a partner? I think people are optimistic realists in other words, they found that both men and women tended to pursue mates just 25% more desirable than themselves. So they're being optimistic, but they're also taking into account their own relative position within this overall desirability hierarchy. And the study did have a few more lessons for people on the market. I think one of the take-home messages from this study is that women could probably afford to be more aspirational in their mate pursuit. Correct answer. Well in 2004 we integrated ticketing in southeast Queensland, so we have introduced a paper ticket that allowed you to travel across all the three modes in southeast Queensland, so bus, train and ferry and the second stage of integrated ticketing is the introduction of a smart card, and the smart card will enable people to store value so to put value on the card, and then to use the card for traveling around the system. Correct answer. For the first time, Japanese researchers have conducted a real-life experiment that shows how some traffic jams appear for no apparent reason. They placed the 22 vehicles on a single track, and asked the drivers to cruise around at a constant speed of 30 km an hour. At first, traffic moves smoothly, but soon, the distance between cars started to vary and vehicles clumped together at one point on the track, but the jams spread backward around the track, like a shockwave at a rate of about 20 km an hour. Real-life jams move backward at about the same speed. Correct answer. The ocean has been getting bluer, according to a study published in the journal Nature. 
But that's not really good news for the planet. It means that the plants that give the ocean its green tint aren't doing well. Scientists say that's because the ocean has been getting warmer. Correct answer. Higher interest rates have knocked investors' confidence in putting their money into property, evidence suggests. The insurance company Standard Life says that the rate rises since last summer have led more people to question the wisdom of property investment. Correct answer. So a virus is something that you can't see by normal light microscopy, you need very advanced techniques for electron microscopy to see it, but that virus is not able to reproduce itself without a host and us as human beings are made up of lots of different cell types and we are interested in understanding at the molecular level how that virus infects the liver and why does it infect the liver and it doesn't infect the heart or it doesn't infect other tissues. Correct answer. Those of you who've never heard the term Neolatin, may be forgiven for thinking it's a new South American dance craze. If you're puzzled when I tell you it has something to do with the language of Romans, Take heart, over the years many classes who have confessed they are not really sure what it is either. Some have assumed that they are so-called late Latin, written at the end of the Roman Empire. Others have supposed it must have something to do with the Middle Ages. Or perhaps it's that pseudo-Latin which my five and seven-year-old boys seem to have gleaned from the Harry Potter books, useful for spells and curses that they zip one another with makeshift paper ash ones. No, in fact. Neo-Latin is more or less the same as the Latin that was written in the ancient world, classical Latin. So, what's so new about it? Correct answer. The effect of the first difference is, on the one hand, to refine and enlarge the public views, by passing them through the medium of a chosen body of citizens, whose wisdom may best discern the true interest of their country, and whose patriotism and love of justice will be least likely to sacrifice it to temporary or partial considerations. Correct answer. Now that story's been scotched, as only part of contingency planning. But it was a symptom of the dramatic turn of events in South Australia, and it flushed out other remarks from water academics and people like Tim Flannery, indicating that things were really much worse than had been foreshadowed, even earlier this year. So is Adelaide, let alone some whole regions of South Australia, in serious bother? Considering that the vast amount of its drinking water comes from the beleaguered Murray, something many of us outside the state may not have quite realized. Is their predicament something we have to face up to as a nation? Correct answer.
Subscribe our YouTube channel to get latest practice material. Hi, my name is Elizabeth and I'm from the Learn with Hefes team. Do not stop until you are proud. If you are nervous about the recent changes in the exam or getting your desired score on your first attempt in PTE, not TCCL, or IELTS, contact Master Trainer Hafis, who has already helped hundreds of students achieve their desired score on their very first attempt. Learn with Hafis.